Fish on. I got him. Oh, got another one. Another one. Good fish. Well, good morning, everybody. We're going to start this video off right, I guess, at the beginning. Just leaving my town. It's actually 5.07 a.m. Uh, I was planning on leaving a few hours later, like when I normally got up. But I got up, and I'm like, let me just, let me get up and just go. Let me just go ahead and go. So I already had everything ready to go. I just had to load it in the truck and jump in it. So I'm heading up to Northern Indiana. Probably by the time you see this video, I've already be back because I'm doing a very quick trip going up, fish two days and then coming right back. I haven't even put in the directions yet. So let's see how far it is. Proceed to Holloway Road Southwest, then turn left. It says like 563 miles and eight hours. So I, I probably will stop or something on the way or if I get there early, I'm gonna do some fishing today. Um, got my kayak going for a going on a kayak trip tomorrow. My goal for this trip, the main thing is uh, first off, try to catch some smallmouth. Second off, is to catch a species I've never caught before, and hopefully we can get that done. been a very exciting trip and raining the whole time I'm about two hours away from my destination where I'm fishing tomorrow and uh, I was looking for a place to stop and I, there was a one rod I was trying to find didn't find that rod I was looking for but I did find a couple other interesting things just a pair of aluminum pliers I think they were $15 um, I lost my last pair and I got a couple lures here they had a whole bunch of musky lures and there's not a lot of musky lures around where I'm at. These aren't huge ones. These are only three quarter ounce maps, but um, their design says musky killer on it. They got some pretty good size hooks on there and a couple different colorful ones. They were $12, I believe a piece. And uh, I got a t-shirt. So I spent about 60 bucks in there. I needed to get out and stretch, but there's a Dick's right around there. I'm gonna go in there and see if they have that rod I'm looking for. If not, I'm just gonna get something to eat and uh, then keep on heading unless I see some water on the way. It's really cloudy. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard today and tomorrow to make things muddy. And the Dick's Sporting Goods doesn't even have fishing gear. What kind of place is that? But this looks like a place I need to go check out for lunch. I'm not really a Ford guy, but it sounds like a cool place to eat. Lunch was great, great food, great service, just a cool experience. But now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of why I'm on this trip. I'm two, about two hours away from where I'm fishing tomorrow. I gotta be there tonight so I can be there in the morning. And I drive across the White River and I've heard a lot about the famous White River in Indiana. Find an access right off the road where I'm driving past. So I pull off and guess what? I take 15 minutes, download the uh, DNR app for the wildlife and fish app for the Indiana, buy my license, I'm legal, ready to go, change this some shorts, some shorts, and we're going down, down here and fish for a while. It's a really gloomy, cloudy day, three o'clock. I'll probably spend at least a couple hours just if I don't get anything or depending on how it goes. But um, a whole new river, never fished before, uh, I think it's my kind of fishing too. I think it's kind of a shallower, cool, like uh, gravel river. So uh, hopefully it's gonna be fun. And also I stopped at Walmart and I found the rod I was looking for. I was looking for this Berkeley uh, lightning rod at a seven foot medium. They're only $40. 
but I wish it was a fast. I, it's, kind of, it's just more like a me, medium overall. I was hoping it would be a fast, but I want to get the more expensive one. That's a hundred dollars. Um, I forget what it's called. It's a little bit, it's just like this, but a little bit better. But uh, I figured I'd buy this $40 one, see how I like it. This is it. Oh, there goes a bass right there. Wow. I walk right up and there was a bass up shallow. Not sure. I'm going to start with this little lure. I was just using this in the river two days ago. Um, but I might switch to top water. A couple other guys pulled up here when I got here. And I'm not sure which way they went. I don't want to walk right on top of them. Over there looks like a good area. Oh, fell in. All right. Down to the river, I'm gonna go ahead and walk in it. Cause I got my legs itching like crazy. Ooh, water feels good. Water feels good. Fish on. Stay on there. Stay on. Are we gonna get one in? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. Look at that smallie. Just what we were looking for. All right. I'm throwing there on that white long A. The water looks to be just a tad murky but it's pretty clear i'd say it's just a little murky from normal this guy just stopped this thing all those treble hooks sometimes can be a problem well it's a good thing i got these pliers today get to use them right away he wasn't hooked bad he's not bleeding well there we go an Indiana smallmouth. Last time I caught him, I was up here with Hoosier back outdoors. There's a little uh, kind of narrow spot right here. I think this looks like a great spot where they would be. Kind of narrow. There's a, there's a ledge or something or a rock or a tree. I can't tell what that is. I made one cast over there, then one cast right there by that tree, and he was right on it. All right, let's try this out. There we go. There's another one. What's that? Another small mouth. I thought it'd pay off staying at this spot for a little while. Kind of been working this area for a while. Switched to the Helgramite. Kept on working this area. Kept on casting over there. And just all around. And he got me another one. Little guy that time. Only been out here for 40 minutes. Brandy River, got a couple smallies. Oh, there we go. Take it. I got him? Oh, got another one. Another one. Okay, it's working this area. It's doing really good. Hey, I like the way this rod feels. Actually pretty good too. 
Oh, there's a little one behind it. This is a good one though. I got 15 pound braid and uh, I think like a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. It actually feels pretty good. This kind of fishing. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that's three smallmouth. That's, that's a nice one there. That's the thickest one. Three smallmouth. This one was about three minutes after that last one. All right. That's kind of what I was I thinking that they, they could be like kind of several of them on that wall or that little ledge. And I was right. I don't know how many more there are, but that's a nice one. I don't know if he just came in there. He's been there the whole time. Good fish. There's something that hit it right there. I'm just gonna keep drifting it down where I feel like there's a ledge right there. I'm just gonna keep working, working it down that ledge. What I think is a ledge anyways. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, this is maybe that little one that followed the other one in. I had a little bitty one follow up. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I just missed and he came and hit it. That's still cool. Four fish right here from this spot. He didn't want to be left out, you know? He's like, hi, I got to get in there too. Oh, there's a fish right in front of me. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of them around here. I just got to take my time and work the area. I just dropped it right off. I, there's a ledge right here. I could tell it's hard for me to drift it down it. Probably easier to fish from the other side, but dropped it right in there and got another one. Dude, that's five smallies already. My legs are getting mauled by little miss, little, uh, I don't know what those are. I kept fe feeling something on my leg like what is going on little bitty minnows are just just pecking the dead skin off or something Well, this looks peaceful. I found one more, one more spot, like a canoe access, and we'll fish a little bit probably. Just a, probably just a little bit because I gotta get back on the road. There's one, there's one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just working my way up this bank, looking for little areas to cast at. Another good one. Another one pounder right there. Right off that little tree hanging out. He's been cut before it looks like. His lips a little messed up. But that's a healthy looking one. Oh, there's a fish. A little smaller. Swimming off with it.
Well, I'd have to say I've had a pretty good start to my Indiana trip. Really good first day. Two hours of fishing and caught six or seven fish. That was just, that's awesome. And um, I go to a lot of these new places and a lot of rivers and I, and I go there and I, and I actually catch fish like when I first go a lot of times. A lot of it's because I am really familiar with rivers. I, I think, I, obviously I, I do this a lot, so I have some lures that I'm confident, confident in and that I know work, and I also can just break down rivers, I think, a lot easier than a lot of people. A lot of people can go to lakes and do that, and I can't, I can't just go to a lake and catch fish, but this right here is like in my element, so um, I, I actually caught way more than I thought. Usually, I, if I was gonna catch one or two in a couple hours at a new place, that's pretty good, but I actually caught several good smallmouths. It was a great time. Uh, I love just viewing the scenery, seeing all the basketball goals and all the cornfields and stuff like that. Where I'm at East Tennessee, it's a little bit hillier and a different view, so it's a real windy today. I got a storm coming in. Hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a day where I'm gonna get some uh, a new species if I can pull it off. And the weather's not too bad, but I think it'll be all right, and I think it'll be a great time. Whew, it's really blowing out here right now. So, all right, I gotta get in my truck. Got a little bit more to go tonight so I can get up and do some fishing in the morning. Thanks for watching.